the great equalizer in life is time. Each of us has the same number of minutes and hours in a day. How we use that time determines our ability to succeed, our life experiences, and in many instances, how we use time determines the strength of our relationships. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Time Management Made Easy. If I were to ask you to write down how you used your time today in a 15-minute increment audit, what would that list say? If I were to interview people close to you about your time management skills, what comments would they make? If you were to look at your list of things you would like to do and measure that against what you are accomplishing, how would you characterize your progress? Let's talk about ways to improve your ability to make the most of the time you are allotted each day. If you want to improve your ability to use time, the first thing you need to do is to recognize just how long periods of time actually are and how long everyday tasks take you to complete. I know that sounds silly, but the truth is most of us overestimate the amount of time it takes to complete any chore, project, or task. Start by setting your clock, phone, or watch for 10 minutes. Don't watch the time move by. Get up and see how much you can accomplish in 10 minutes. Start the timer and then start cleaning your room, organizing your desk, or do some squats. Whatever strikes you as you begin this exercise. I know you will be surprised by what you can accomplish in 10 short minutes. Now imagine what you can achieve in 30 minutes or 60 minutes when you focus on the accomplishment and not on the time. Continue to pay attention to how long tasks take you to accomplish. You can use this exercise to help you get started on any project. Set a timer for 10 minutes and worry about nothing but making progress on that project. Since taking the first step is always the hardest, this exercise is a great way to start. The next step you need to take is to recognize things, attitudes, or people who you are allowing to waste your time. To do this, you need to evaluate how you spend your time. Doing the time audit I mentioned earlier with a list of how you spend your time is an easy way to figure out what you do that fuels your day and what is a drain on your accomplishments. Time wasters can be people who call and talk because they can, repeated checks on email or social media accounts, or staring at online videos other than this one, of course. Spend some time thinking through why you are investing your time in these activities or with these people. It may be you are tired and are avoiding concentrating. You may be unsure of what to do next or how to start the next project, or you may simply be procrastinating. Dealing with people who eat up your time is one of the most challenging situations to manage. Be kind, be honest, be open. Tell the person that you enjoy your relationship and you want to be able to spend time focused on them. Then set up a time to spend with that person. Make it a time that is convenient to your work schedule. Then don't let them interrupt at other times. If you find you are tired, take a rest. Take a nap, step away for a determined amount of time and reduce your stress or increase your rest. If you can use your time better when you return, the time away is better spent than the time waster. The cure for not knowing what to do next is to create a list of what you need to accomplish and then put that list in priority or due date order. Practice starting with the next item on the list. If you are avoiding a task, evaluate how important the job is. Does it need to be accomplished? If so, move forward. If not, take it off your list. Should you need to complete the task, determine why that task seems complicated for you. If you are dragging your feet because you don't have the skills or information necessary, ask for help. Figure out the first step that needs to be taken and then start. If you are simply procrastinating, figure out why. I know that many of you will say that you procrastinate because you do your best work under pressure. If you haven't given planning ahead and working on a timeline a chance in a while, try it. You may well find that the product you are working on is better and more complete when you have adequate time to complete the project. If you're unwilling to give up the concept of procrastination being your friend, then try setting earlier deadlines for yourself. 
If the project is due on Wednesday, set your personal deadline for Tuesday. This will give you time to review your work before turning it in. Nothing mismanages your time worse than a lack of effective organization. You must find a way to keep your calendar, notes, documents, apps, and email organized in a manner that allows you to be able to find what you need in short order. If you have missed an assignment, turned in paperwork late, or have held up a meeting because you didn't arrive on time, you need to reevaluate your organization processes and skills. Adjust what you are doing until you find what works best for you. And on a side note, if you're one of those people who is always running a little late to meetings, gatherings, or classes, you are a time waster for everyone else involved in those meetings, gatherings, or classes. You need to change. If you think you would like some technical help managing your tasks and time, all of the following are not sponsors. They are just applications we have used and like. For task tracking, we recommend Todoist, Things, Tick Tick, or even just the built-in Reminders app. Add everything that you need to do to those apps, add due dates, and they'll help you track the things you need to get done. For time tracking, we recommend Toggle, and if you have an Apple device, we recommend using the app Timery to manage your Toggle timers. Finally, for distraction blocking, we recommend Focus on Mac and Cold Turkey on Windows. These apps will allow you to set a timer and block all the distracting apps throughout the time so that whether you are sitting in class or at home and want to avoid certain websites or applications, these will help you do that. These are just some of our recommendations, but find the best options to work for you. There are tens of thousands of different apps for each of these categories, so there's one out there that will work for you. We need to focus a bit more on the topic of motivation. You have probably noticed that doing things you like to do is easy. Doing something you don't like or that uses skills you aren't as confident in probably takes you longer. There are tricks you can use to build your motivation. For example, mix up the things you don't like to do with the things that you do enjoy so you aren't spending an extended time focused only on tasks that make you miserable. If you have to write a paper on a topic that isn't exciting to you, take a break after you finish the first draft and study a topic that energizes you. Go for a walk, talk to a friend, or do whatever makes you feel good about moving forward. So tracking what you need to do, what you want to do, and understanding what makes you happy is the key to motivation and productivity. Let your priorities direct your use of time. Let the things you like to do become a reward for completing the things about which you are not happy. Because no matter who you are or what you choose to do with your life, there will be chores, tasks, and projects you have to accomplish even though they are not central to who you want to be. Work to figure out the time of day that is most productive for you, the locations and environment where you work best, the technology that best supports focus and completion, the skills you know you possess, and the skills you wish to learn. Learn what you need to do to meet your goals and what you don't have to do because it doesn't add quality to your life. As you learn more about yourself and practice managing your time rather than letting time control you, the better you will utilize the time you are given each day. If you found any of this useful, hit the like button and perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.